Hey guys, Lost here. Time for me to review my top 5 Armor 3 mods of the month for June. Hope you guys enjoy. So up first this month is a simple yet elegant mod that adds in the Boeing 737 into Arma. It comes with 7 different skinned jets. The jet is nearly fully functional and can house a full plane's worth of people inside. There's benches for everybody to sit. The jet is not only extremely fast, but it takes nearly an entire runway to get it into the air. So make sure you have a full military sized runway if you want to get that thing off the ground in time. So personally, I like the very sleek look these planes have and they are a ton of fun to fly because they are not super maneuverable, they're kind of like a gigantic bus in the air. You are not having any dogfights with this thing anytime soon. If you are into a lot of life stuff in Arma, this is definitely a cool mod to have and one that you might want to play with next time because it adds a lot into the game for sure. There is one other requirement for this mod and it will be listed on the mod database. You need it otherwise you won't be able to see out of the windshield if you are flying in first person. I did not know that the first time I flew that so I ended up going back and had to download it. So it worked all well for me and I really enjoyed this mod. So every month I try to show at least one new map. This month's map is called Bascada. Bascada is an island of Turkey in the northeastern part of the Aegean Sea. The island is in the district of Kanakail with an area of 39.9 kilometers squared. It is the third largest Turkish island in uh, after the Imbros and the Marmara. This is a real life island like a lot, uh, maybe not a lot, but a few of the maps I show anyway are based around actual places in the real world. The actual island itself is known for its tourism, its wine production, and fishing. So there are a lot of orchards and vineyards as well as other agricultural things going around the area and you can definitely tell with all the lush trees in some parts of the island. I always enjoy new maps and of course I enjoy this one, that is why I am showing it. There are a lot of different structures around the island including a go-kart track and a little castle fortification. So I took my Boeing 737 and I was thoroughly impressed with this island. There's a lot happening there. It's not just an empty shell of a place. I do like it and it's really cool to take a look at. On top of all the little towns in the area, there is a quarry, a military base, as well as a wind farm and some ancient ruins that are pretty cool and that I thought was a neat little touch to this island that gave it a lot more depth and more vibrance to the landscape. As always, links to these mods will be in the description down below. So at number 3 is the mod Headgore. Last month I reviewed a mod called Blood Gore. Now not only has it been updated, but I am reviewing the Headgore mod. Blood Gore obviously adds in more visual effects like blood into Arma which Arma already has a little bit of, but it takes it a little more up to the next level to add that slight more, a little more of a touch of chaos, kind of a realism thing if you want to put it that way. Anyway, the most recent update with the Blood Gore mod is it no longer obliterates somebody if you throw a grenade at their feet because if you did before throw a grenade at somebody, if it was close by, it would most likely just completely annihilate them and leave them with, you know, maybe a hand or a foot left, which doesn't quite make sense. So on top of that, the Headgore mod um, is mostly self-explanatory. You can change or configure the settings with this mod so that their heads will explode or you, they will de be decapitated if they are shot in the head with a large, medium, or small caliber rifle weapon anyway. You can adjust that to whichever you want. That is kind of something that Arma lacks is a more bloody gory feel not that it necessarily needs it but if you want to get the most immersive or most realistic effect out of your game you know a blood mod is probably one that you're going to want to use at some point if you are trying to grasp the chaos of war in Arma these are two mods you are definitely going to want to use so now we're down to number two Number two is again another realism mod or immersion mod that I found fairly cool. This is a mod that you would think be present in the vanilla game anyway, but anyway this is called Tactical Hand Signals. 
by simply using the numbers 2 through 9, you can use a variety of different hand signals to convey uh, messages to your teammates without having to say anything. If you think about it, there could be times in a multiplayer game where you would need to convey a message or point or halt your teammates without having to say anything, otherwise, you know, the enemy might hear you. On top of that, there are mods out there that would make the AI notice if you were talking in game so there's another situation where you would want to remain silent and not have anybody know that you're there to be completely honest i found this mod a little cooler than it probably was to most of you guys i am really into that immersion side of armor even though i don't get to play you know immersively or realistically as much as i'd like to anymore but i found this pretty cool you know the whole hand signal thing so i really liked it if you are doing any milsim things i would definitely recommend implementing this into your group or unit but that's just me if you've kind of noticed this month there are a variety of different mods i kind of had to throw it together pretty quickly but we'll get to that at the end So we are down to number one, and this mod has been right up there on the Armor 3 Steam Workshop page for a little while now, ranked extremely highly. This is the VSM Warfighters, which also brings along the VSM Gear Pack. This mod adds in a few different vests as well as clothing items and backpacks that are tailored a little differently with some details that really stand out and I really enjoyed, quite frankly. The VSM Warfighters mod is a mod that is tailored specifically for mission making in mind, which I'm sure a lot of the Armor 3 community would enjoy. The idea of the mod is to have some character based units, like you see in the main campaign, Carrie, Campbell, Miller, etc. There are five units specifically tailored for Altus and Stratus and the myriad or more arid style maps. It's a pretty basic mod, but I really do like it, which I, you know, I say a lot about mods, but it's true, I do like Armor 3 mods, believe it or not. And I couldn't, you know, do a top 5 mods without reviewing some type of new gear or add-on into the game. So we are getting to the end here. I hope you guys enjoyed. The links to the mod mods will be down in the description. I made this review a little early because I will not be around for the rest of June and about the half of July. So don't expect a lot of videos for the next few weeks, unfortunately. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later. Oh, there's a guy on the roof looking right at us. Yeah, he did he get you? Yeah. Yes. He nailed me. He nailed me. Like, I saw my whole screen explode. They're all over here, are you kidding me? Because that's why we went south. Yo, they're just south of the top squad, they can mark them.